Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We are here live at PAX Unplugged in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, bringing you all the cool content from the con. Uh, but first off, who are we? I'm Matt. I'm Jeff. And we are joined with our special guest right now, Phoebe from Bezia. How are you doing, Hi. Phoebe? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How's the con treating you so far? It's busy. It's, uh, it's good, though. It's a lot of fun. Very cool. So I see we've got a, a lot of stuff on the table right now, we a lot do. of components. Yeah. And uh, we'll show everyone at home. With the little magic button push there. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Let me move this over so everyone can see. Bam. There we go. Okay, so what are you showing off for us today, Phoebe? So this is the Palace of Mad King Ludwig. Uh, so it's a sequel to the very, pop very popular Castles of Mad King Ludwig. Uh, but instead of everyone building their own castle, everyone is in fact building one gigantic palace together to impress the king. It's not a cooperative game though, you're still trying to score the most points. So you're trying to contribute the most to the palace, have the best rooms, have the best combinations, and uh, basically make the king as happy as he can be. Um, Sounds like a plan. Yeah. So in this game, we will uh, be placing rooms into this palace here. Uh, we have our own little player boards as well where we'll be tracking the kinds of rooms we build uh, because you do get end game points for having a lot of one type of room or a very diverse amount of uh, diverse selection of rooms in the palace. Okay. Um, we also have six little slots on our player board, which is unique from castles. And this is where we can either store favor tiles, which will give us end game points, like the favor cards do in, in castles, uh, or we can slot in room tiles there, and they will actually upgrade our player board and give us either extra end game scoring or extra abilities uh, that we have during the game. Okay. Um, so we can basically just jump in and go through a couple of turns and show everyone what the game's like, if, if you want. Very cool. So uh, we have the very beginnings of the palace here. We've got three hallways, and uh, you can do one of four things on your turn. You can place a room, which is mostly what you're going to be doing. You'll be placing these rooms into the palace. Uh, or you can build a hallway or a stairs, if you would like. Uh, stairs are how you end up placing these downstairs rooms because you can't have downstairs rooms in the regular upstairs palace, of course. Right. Um, and you can also either purchase more favors to put next to your board uh, for end game scoring or uh, take a room and again slot it into one of your abilities. Um, the other thing we'll start with is we have a selection of three favor tiles. So you can all look at the favor tiles you have and you'll actually pick one of those if you want to start the game with. Um, so they'll either have an up arrow or a down arrow. So you can see on the public favors we have, which we're all trying to achieve by the end of the game, uh, we all want to have the least red swans, uh, the least swans in general, the most sleeping rooms and the most uh, corridors, so hallways. Okay. Uh, and on the uh, favors you just drew, you'll see a similar pattern. It'll be either the most or least, and it'll be a type of swans or a particular type of room. Uh, so you can select one of those that you'd like to try to aim for and slot it into your board. Or if you don't want any of them, you can just give them all back. So it's up to you. Uh, so go ahead and choose to pick one of those if you like. And that's hidden information? That is hidden information, Okay. Yeah. I'll just so you can put that anywhere on your board. Wherever you uh, lock it in, you'll be blocking off... Uh, activating that ability with a room tile later in the game. So on the right you've got bonus points and bonus 10 points, uh, winning ties for your favors, is the second one down, or three free swans uh, when the game ends. And on the left you have a way to make these rooms cheaper because it's free to take these ones closer to the end, but if you want one of the newer rooms you have to pay swans from your collection to get it. Um, or you can start moving the moat tiles around to stop it, uh, other players from blocking with, with the moat. So you can kind of choose which of those abilities you want to be able to sacrifice, uh, and then put the rest of the favors back in the pile. Oh, so these go back there then? Yeah. Thank you. All right. So, uh, would you like to go first? Uh, sure. All right. So. As I said, you can choose to build a room if you want. So if you'd like to build a room, uh, you can take either of these for free and you can place it anywhere you want adjacent to the rooms that already exist in the, in the palace. Okay. Um, you can see you've got swans on the entrances here and this is how you earn swans to spend to buy more rooms or buy upgrades. So if you, a grey is any colour, if you match uh, the swan, then you're going to get a swan of that colour. In this case, you can get any colour you choose. Okay. Um, uh, if you matched, you know, a blue with a blue, you would earn a blue swan. 
Um, and when you place the room, you will put one of your little tokens on it to show that you own it and increase um, your count of that room on your player board. Okay. Uh, so yeah. you can choose a room that you'd like to place. Interesting. Uh, well, I'll, I'll bring, I'll build a billiards room, I guess. Yeah. And um, if I go blue to blue, it gives me a, a blue swan. You'll get a blue swan, absolutely. Cool. So I get a blue swan. Yep. So you got yourself a blue swan. It's there. This goes. And then that's just showing you own that space? Yep. Okay. And so if someone now matches the swans uh, in one of these entrances, they'll get a swan of that color, and he will also earn a swan of that color. So ah. both players of the, of the connecting rooms will get swans. Okay. Uh, you also get a bonus if you uh, connect all the entrances. They don't have to match, but just if you connect all the entrances of your room, you will get uh, the little bonus that's shown in the corner, and each type of room has their own bonus. Uh, so in this case, if you close off all these entrances, you're going to get a bonus seven points. Now, of course, other players can try and prevent that. Uh, they can try and block you and place walls adjacent to your entrances uh, later on so that you don't, in fact, get those bonuses. Uh, but for now, that's the end of your turn. These will slide down, and we get a new room out here. So again, uh, you can choose to place a room if you like. Um, you don't have any swans to uh, buy upgrades, but you could place a hallway or a stairs if you wanted to try and build down to a downstairs room as well. Hmm. I'm trying to think here what I want to do. I don't know. So I, I can grab from these two spaces Up, here? Yeah. Or over... Okay. Or a uh, hallway is free and a stairs is free as well. So what's the significance of the dark room there? It's down. Which, Downstairs, right? Yeah, so okay. um, the, blacks, the black ones are downstairs, uh, so you can only place them on the, the dark end of stairs. Okay. Um, the bonus you get for placing stairs is you get three points at the end of the game for every downstairs room connected to your stairs. So if you own the stairs and a large kind of group of rooms gets built on there, you'll get a lot of points for that. Okay. Even and if you don't place those rooms. So where can I place the stairs? So you can place it adjacent to any entrance. You any won't get any swans for matching it, uh, but you can place it anywhere you like. Okay. So if I do it here, I effectively eliminate where I, I, he can't get a swan from that then? He can't get a swan, that's right. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, and you still place one of your little tokens on it. Okay. And increase your count on your stairs right there. Cool. Uh, um, this one here. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> let's see. <laughs> Anyways, uh, weird question, but can I build a stairway up immediately from there? Uh, that's actually a really good question. I don't... <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to do that. <laughs> I think specifically for that reason. Of, of people, I think there has to be at least one room for you to be able to do that. We'll just we'll just be the jerks that yeah. are just like wee the entire game. People try to do that in castles. I know it's prohibited yeah. in castles, so yeah. So I get a stairway. Yep. Uh, no, I get a. That's not a stairway. That's a dark uh, room, right? Yeah. Cool. Um, does this give me a swan? It does not get you a swan. Okay. Yeah. What does this symbol mean? So when you've completed that, that room, you're actually going to get a hidden secret swan. Ooh, now, okay. these are um, these will count towards your swans at the end of the game. So any swans you don't spend will give you bonus points. Uh, but there will be a color, a random color that only you know about. Uh, but you don't get the swan yet. It's only oh. when you close off the second entrance. Gotcha. So when you complete okay. the room. Yeah. All right. And, and they slide down. Okay. You get a baconry. Bacon, right? I like bacon. Oh. oh man, I'm trying to think of like what's a good move here. It doesn't seem I don't have any swans to make anything. Do you like butter? <laughs> I do you like get a buttery. butter. <laughs> that sounds buttery delicious. So how about that? We'll do a buttery. I guess I'm gonna attach it right. That is a gray swan, right? Yep. So we'll both get a gray swan from that. You will both get a uh, swan of any color. Of so any the color. Is any That's color. right. Yep. And then he gets his mystery swan too. Yep. Yeah, so okay. you can take your mystery swan now. And you both get a swan of your choice as well. Hmm. Yeah, so what what would be a good route to go here? Like, why, why am I collecting the different color swans? Well, there's this little thing at the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, at the end of the game, you you will get points for uh, sets of differently colored swans that you have. So if you have 
are all five different colors, you'll get 15 points. So you're trying to do that. You're also, you might have a hidden goal that says if you have the most yellow swans, for example, then you're going to achieve your secret favor at the end of the game as well. So if you have that, then you can go for that color. Uh, all of these are actually for the least, so you don't really want red. Um, and you don't want, you don't really want any swans at the end of the game if you want that goal, but some, your private goal might conflict with the public goal as well. Okay. I will take a blue swan then. A blue swan. There you go. Thank you very much. And don't forget to put your little, oh, you can't actually place it there, I'm sorry, uh, because that is a downstairs room. You told me to do that, Jeff. Don't do, I said you could place a butter, I didn't say there. You could put it over there. I just noticed that, that's my bad. Somewhere. Okay, I'll put I'll put my buttery over here. Right. Which means you will get a green swan instead of your and I blue. I don't get my gray swan. Yep. Okay. Thank you. That's fair. I'll take my green swan with pride. And I don't <laughs> get my yellow swan. Right? Uh, was that the one you just took as the connection? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, uh, You're losing out on all your swans there, Jeff. I will build a fencing room to f practice my fencing <laughs> with which to murder you. The, uh, print, the king loves his fencing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I do that. Uh, this guy so what goes. area of the card signifies if it's an upstairs or downstairs only room? So it's just um, the only downstairs rooms can be connected to downstairs rooms, and then you have to have stairs leading up in order to build upstairs rooms. But it's, it's this symbol down here that yeah. signifies downstairs? Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I get a green swan. From connecting a green to a green. Yep. Uh, I go up the green swan chart. Uh, you go up the uh, the outside, uh, uh, the activity room chart. Yep. So you uh, have yeah, two so of I those do. now. Okay, cool. Yep. And I just realized I didn't put a thing for my buttery. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, an oratory room. What I've do always I want wanted to do? a piano room myself. <laughs> Trying to see what's good here. There's no downstairs rooms, huh? Not at the moment. Well, that's disappointing. Um, I'm going to well, let's let's get the storage room then. Okay. Oh wait, is that a downstairs room then? No. So um, the storage rooms at the end of the game, they will give you bonus points uh, for whatever's in the top left corner. So that one gives you three points for every uh, downstairs room that you control or that you own. Okay, I'll still do that. So I'll put that, whoopsie. I'm gonna put that over yonder. Yep. And so you will get a red swan for matching that up. Thank you. Mm. Actually, wait, I'm gonna change my mind here. I wanna go here. Sure. I can do that, right? Yeah. I don't want a red swan. I remember that thing over <laughs> there. Least number of red swans. Let me do a blue swan. Blue swan, absolutely. Thank you. And you also get a swan of your choice. Because uh, it matches to your room. So you can pen, spend any color for a gray swan, right? Uh, yep. Okay, uh, so I need, it doesn't matter. Yes. Cool. Uh, my turn, I'll spend this to grab this uh, piano room. Yep. I mean, it's pretty fancy. You got a piano room going. <laughs> oh. This goes up again. <coughs> you get a purple uh, swan. You get a purple swan. And so for reaching your third activity room, you actually get a bonus green swan. Oh, that's, cool. That's what that little swan uh, underneath it is. I thought I had to pass it. Yeah. Cool. Uh, that's it for me. Great. Okay. So the we only got time for a couple more rounds, so yeah. keep that in mind. Okay. Mr. Beating me up in every what game I that we play. Is accelerate the game a little bit, <laughs> artificially. And so when these stacks start to run out during the game, uh, we're actually going to start placing moats down. Okay. Um, and so what the moats do is they're kind of a game end timer, um, but when you complete a room, so lock off all the entrances, you'll place as many moats as are shown on these uh, empty things here. So at the moment, you'll just place one moat, and you can place that starting from either side of the castle, uh, the palace, and once they meet in the middle, that's when the game will end. Ah, okay. Uh, but you can also, you know, block other players with them, be a little bit tricky, and that's when this power of being able to move the moat around 
uh, start to become useful. So we'll just play a couple of rounds with that before we run out of time. So okay. Whenever you complete a room, just bear in mind that you'll be placing a piece of the moat as well. Okay. So I'm going to do something. I don't know what I want to do here. There's not very many options, is there? Um, can, you, can, you can't block the entrance here? Oh, uh, you can if you, you can? want to. You can? Okay. Yeah. Let's let's build a ballroom. Connect the ballroom right here. Yeah. So that's something I could do. And so I would get a blue swan, or and Jeff would get a gray swan. Uh, you would both get a blue. We both get a yeah. blue. Okay. I'm all over the place here. Don't mind me. Cool. And they slide down. You didn't place your moat. Uh, he didn't complete a room. Oh, complete a room. Yeah, so it's when you, uh, so for example, if you closed off this entrance or this one, uh, or even that one, you would complete a room and then you would get to place a moat. So I will play the baconry right here. Baconry. That sounds delicious. <laughs> You're getting all the goodies, you get Jeff. A yellow swan for matching those. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Alright. I'm seeing some purples here, so let's oratory room. I'll build that off of the piano room. It makes perfect sense. And so that <laughs> completes the room. I get a purple swan, Jeff gets a purple swan. Yep. And so, at the end of the game, he will earn seven bonus points for having that room completed. Uh, and you will also get to place a moat at the end of your turn uh, for completing that room. So you, you can either choose to place it here or here. And either way, you're going to end up blocking off one of his rooms. Right. So let's, let's block off this one here. No more baconry for you. <laughs> well, that was a silly play because you could have prevented me from getting seven points. Oh, yeah. Dummy. <laughs> now I'll just get this. I, I didn't doesn't complete. That's I fine, assume. yeah. yeah so. uh, I should. Yeah, that's fine. So I get a green swan. This goes up again. And I'm going to get another seven points now. Yep. I, I feel and like. you completed in a room, so you get to place yes. a room. And now, so you can either choose to place it. It goes into these little inlets first, so you could place it here or here. All right. I think we got to start wrapping it up now, though. So, okay, is so there anything else you want to tell us about uh, uh, yeah. Palace of Mad King Ludwig? Yeah, so uh, the game will be releasing hopefully December, will, is, be, is when the ship arrives. Uh, for end game scoring, basically, what you'll do is you'll look at uh, how many of each room you've built. Okay. You'll look at your private favor tiles and whether you met those conditions, um, as well as any of the uh, things you activated on the board for bonus cool. points. All right. So I almost got my triple swan thing, or I almost got my 10 points here. Yeah. I try to counteract everyone going for less swans mm -hmm. by going for more swans. Yeah. Uh, All right, cool. And I had the best salad. <laughs> best salad. Yeah, the best swan salad swan going. Swan salad, I, I like I it. swan salad. Yeah, delicious. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't get a chance to pick uh, up the box. It is, like pre yeah. pre punch chits, yes, for yeah. sure. So. There's a lot of chits. The, the original is pretty heavy too. So. I think it's about uh, three kilos, yeah. seven pounds. Oh man. Yeah. That, that sounds right. That's it's heavy. Yeah. That's hefty. All right. Cool. So is there anything else? I think that was it. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Thanks Phoebe, for and us. thank you all for watching at home. Uh, please stay tuned. We're going to bring you more live coverage from PAX Unplugged here in Philadelphia. Uh, but otherwise, I'm Matt. I'm Jeff. And that's Phoebe. And I'm Phoebe. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone. We'll be right back.